Mankind has used <laughs> and tried to use several different kinds of fuels to stay warm and provide electricity for themselves. But the issue isn't always about making energy. A lot of times it's about conserving energy. And that is done through either insulating so that the energy you make doesn't get lost or in the efficiency of how you utilize the energy you make. That works for homes and schools and businesses. All of us can contribute that way because it works in every category. The biggest thing is to become educated in what the most cost effective way is to say insulate your home or your business or your school. Different applications require different solutions. Some of the specifics of how to save energy at homes or schools be uh, programmable thermostats. A lot of people already have those, but they need to be checked and programs updated sometimes. And then the efficiency of the device, whether it's an air conditioner or a heater, and how it utilizes the fuel. It's not just that you have an air conditioner, because not all air conditioners work the same. Mm -hmm. Scheduling also plays a big part in it, especially for schools. Many schools are out during the summer just to save the energy. That's true. And then the envelope, the building envelope is a big deal. If you've got leaks and gaps, if you're using inefficient appliances, all those things can be a source of wasted energy. So if you can put in a higher insulation, a greater insulation value to the whole envelope, whether it be replacing single pane windows with double pane, putting in better insulation in the attic if there is one, or even just cutting out the air gaps around doorways, that can save a lot of energy.